Tonight on Adjuster TV News, Adjuster University announces a brand new Xactimate training, how the relaunch of the Dome Group Specialty Division can benefit you, a new book promises help for burned out adjusters, Xactimate 28 will no longer be supported, how this affects you and how you can upgrade it to X1, we've got some new job opportunities including an intriguing new opportunity for independent adjusters from the IA firm and recruiting company, The Best Claim Solutions. Paysetter Claim Service is looking for commercial adjusters. And TPA and IA firm Housh & Company is looking for adjusters as well as two key leadership roles. And finally, a little advice on how to handle public adjusters from an actual PA. But first, you know what time it is. It's time for the NACA Minute. As you certainly know by now, the National Association of Catastrophe Adjusters is an organization founded way back in 1976 to further advance the interests of CAT adjusters in the US. As part of Adjuster TV's ongoing support for NACA, we feature interviews and coverage from this year's annual convention back in January. And by the way, you don't have to be a member to join NACA, but membership does have its benefits. Here's Thomas B. from The Best Claim Solutions to talk more about NACA. Tom Bolecki, uh, Vice President Training and Development with The Best Claim Solutions. The Best Claim Solutions is a full service technology uh, focused claim solution provider. Uh, we can help you at all levels. We can offer you a, a team that's dedicated to your account, adjuster level, manager level, all the way through executive, uh, providing an unparalleled level of uh, support. For us, it's actually a couple of different reasons. One, it's a great way to introduce the company and our services to the adjusters, uh, to the people that we work with. The other is always, uh, it's important to, to see what's going on in the industry, uh, see the competition. We firmly believe that the better the competition, each one of us will succeed. Anytime you're a member of a national organization, it's exposure, it's training, it's education. All of those things are really important. Adjusters learning their craft, companies learning how to better provide a level of service that exceeds their customers' expectations. And for each of us, just learning about the, uh, the industry and, and what the trends are, what the future will bring. For discounts on lodging, gear, training, licensing, and CE, as well as one-on-one -on -one mentorships, join NACA right now at nacatadj.org. And of course, the convention is an outstanding place to network and one of the best places to interview with dozens and dozens of IA firms all in one place. For the best tips and tools for getting on the first call list as an independent adjuster, subscribe now. I'm Matt, and I'm an adjuster. Adjuster TV News is brought to you by The Best Claim Solutions, Pacesetter Claim Service, and Kaplik. You ever feel like you've been thrown to the wolves by the IA firms you work for, like you're just a number on a roster? Wouldn't it be nice to work with a firm who's big enough to get plenty of work, but still small enough to know you by your first name? Then let me tell you about my friends at the Oklahoma-based IA firm, Paysetter Claim Service. Founded in 1997, the thing that sets Paysetter apart is their relentless pursuit of excellence. They hold themselves and their team of adjusters to a higher standard of quality. And now with their advanced all-in-one claims platform called Evo, You'll get a real-time Uber-style map and communication link to the insured, automatic messages sent to customers throughout the process, file review automation, and a fast, accurate scope with Paysetter's partnership with Hover. Hover is integrated directly into Evo, making for a smooth and seamless field scoping experience for you as the adjuster. Technology is moving faster than ever, and Paysetter is right there at the cutting edge. And Paysetter is bringing training to a city near you. Check out their summer tour dates at adjustertv.com slash Paysetter. As an independent adjuster, do you feel like you only have bad, expensive choices for health insurance plans? And when you have to use the insurance, you'll have to pay a lot out of pocket? Makes you wonder why you even have insurance in the first place. The stakes are high. Having no coverage puts you and your family at risk. It doesn't have to be this way. You want peace of mind with common sense health coverage you can count on that doesn't include things you don't need. You need real insurance with world-class protection from established carriers, not health sharing and not cobbled together prepaid medical. And you shouldn't have to wait for it. Get approved in days, not weeks. There is no risk and no cost to see if you qualify for these high quality plans. Not everybody will qualify, but you've got nothing to lose by getting a free consultation. Visit adjustertv.com slash health for more information and to apply. Adjuster TV? I hardly know her. 
The Doan Group announces the relaunch of their specialty division. This division assists insurers with unique and challenging claims such as those relating to on-road tractor trailers, motor homes and a wide variety of recreational vehicles, an extensive list of heavy equipment and a whole lot more. Senior Vice President Roger Crowley explains. Hello, this is Roger Crowley, um, Senior Vice President of the Doan Group. Um, I'm with you today to talk about a relaunch of our specialty division, uh, which, you know, we've always had our specialty division, but we've actually tailored it more towards the customer needs um, and revamped it to add another layer of the quality control um, to make sure that our clients are getting back a product that uh, one, it's been you know reviewed from the appraisal level to a uh, local office level, and then from a specialty lines, a specialty person within that division, um, to making sure that the quality is there before we send it back to our clients. Um, the big piece of our, our relaunch is the virtual estimating piece. Um, that's a big piece as we move from COVID um, into you know full speed ahead into the to the marketplace. Um, a lot of the clients are looking to to revamp how they process claims. And one of the big things they're looking for is to uh, do more stuff virtually. And so we have re actually revamped that. We've added to staff um, already to making sure we're, we're staffed up, ready to go as clients approach us to take on this additional business. Because one big thing is, you know, they want to control expenses like everybody else does. And, you know, they, they don't want to jump in and add to staff. They're looking to outsource some of the stuff and they're trying to do it at a cheaper price obviously um but and we're here you know we have the staff ready to commit to the volume that it's uh, gonna take to get these uh, assignments completed timely and back to them um, in a uh, effective, efficient and uh, cost controlled manner. So looking forward to moving forward in, in, in this line of business, the relaunch is really special to the Dome Group. You know, we just celebrated our 40th year anniversary this month, uh, which is very exciting. So we're looking to do uh, another 40 years. And, uh, you know, I'm real excited to be leading this organization into the next level into the next century so um you know we're here the don't group is here doing all lines of business and um whatever you need uh, we can uh, accommodate the don't group specialty division uh, we gear ourselves towards the, the off the over the road uh, truck and trailer business you know uh, watercraft um <clears throat> you know motorcycles uh, heavy equipment, farm equipment, aviation, uh, anything you can think of that falls outside of the normal auto passenger auto appraisals, we conduct in our specialty lines division. So for more information about the Dome Group and, and our services, or if somebody would like to apply for a, a, a position, you can uh, reach us at the dome.com, or you can you know email uh, at info at dome.com. Um, and that will get directly to the appropriate de uh, department or division, um, and uh, we will be in touch. Coming up next, learn how to fight adjuster burnout and later get all the details on the latest jobs available for claims pros. Being a claim adjuster can be a rewarding experience, helping people during a time of need. However, that experience can quickly turn in the form of claims or lawsuits made against you. Facing a lawsuit can be a terrifying and stressful experience jeopardizing years of hard work and success. If you don't have adequate insurance coverage, you are putting yourself at great financial risk. Don't stand alone. Let Kaplik stand with you. At Kaplik, we provide financial security and peace of mind through our insurance products designed specifically for the independent claim adjuster. What makes Kaplik unique is our industry-leading expertise in providing guidance, risk management, and support to reduce your risk protect your reputation, and maintain client relationships. Unlike other insurance providers, our coverage is straightforward and easy to understand, tailored exclusively for claim adjusters and insurance service firms. Our in-house expertise and experienced staff understand the nuances of the adjusting industry, a difference you'll feel and understand from the moment you contact us. After all, Kaplik was founded and continues to be run by independent adjusters. Just like you, we handle everything so you don't have to. From individual adjusters to national leaders, Kaplik is there for you. With Kaplik, you're not just a policyholder, you're an owner. Kaplik is member owned and member run, which means that you get a say in how we best serve you. If you make your living as an independent claim adjuster, 
Stop paying for generic or inadequate coverage that may not fully protect you. Join the Kaplik family for a personalized experience. Premiums start at surprisingly affordable prices for all of the coverage you need. For a fast quote, apply online now at www.cplic.net slash apply. Are you tired, overwhelmed, stressed out about your workload? We've all been there as adjusters, but we cannot stay there. You can leave all that stress and burnout behind you. How? Check out the Burned Out Adjusters Playbook. In this new book from seven-time best-selling author Chris Stanley and insurance industry writer Chris Casaleggio, learn how to stop stressing and start enjoying working as an insurance adjuster. Inside the Burned Out Adjusters Playbook, you'll learn how to deal with these common situations. Being overwhelmed from having too many claims, which can drain your motivation and make you drag your feet all day. Dealing with difficult people, not feeling like your hard work is appreciated, which can give you a cynical attitude, feeling like you're being underpaid, having too little time, and so much more. Whether you are an independent insurance adjuster or an adjuster that works for an insurance company, this book is a must read for you to keep your sanity, humanity, and career on the straight and narrow. Don't let claims overwhelm and stress you. Grab the Burned Out Adjusters Playbook and continue to use the insurance industry to claim your life. Check it out right now on the gear and software page at adjustertv.com slash resources. Up next, Xactimate 28 is no longer supported by Xactware and how that affects you, plus brand new cutting edge Xactimate training from Adjuster University. These days, there are a growing number of remote work opportunities for independent adjusters. With Scoper Writer programs popping up all over the place, you can do photo and scope in the field, or you can just sit at home in your pajajays and write the estimates on what the scoper got when they were out in the field. And it doesn't matter where you live, as long as you have the internet, you can write claims as a desk adjuster, but you can't get that sweet gig without being licensed. So if you live in Nebraska, which doesn't require an adjuster to be licensed, you still have to have a New York license to write claims somebody scoped in New York, makes sense? Of all the credentials you need as an adjuster, there really is none more important than your adjuster license, especially your first one. You're gonna need it to do just about everything else, including some adjuster schools even require you to have one before they'll let you enroll. So you need Adjuster Pro. Adjuster Pro provides a comprehensive and easy to use way to get and maintain your adjuster licenses. Most importantly, Adjuster Pro was founded by independent adjusters and the team at Adjuster Pro is dedicated to helping you thrive as an adjuster with resources for every licensing state, including dead simple CE packages. Adjuster Pro is the gold standard for adjuster licensing. You'll find everything you need to get licensed in one place. Go to adjustertv.com slash adjusterpro right now. Now from Adjuster University, you can absolutely master Xactimate with their brand spanking new Xactimate Gold training suite. In this training, you'll learn everything you need to know about sketch, how line items and price lists work, reports and estimate templates, all the insider knowledge on macros, and much, much more. And speaking of macros, if you jump on this early release, you'll also get totally free of charge Adjuster University's six-figure macro, which by the way, is a $1,000 value. Xactimate Gold includes more than 40 hours of on-demand Xactimate practical training videos, pre-built and designed notes for Xactimate, extensive quizzes and exams so that you can test your knowledge, a certificate of completion awarded upon passing the final exam, and lifetime access to the training. So the training will never become out of date as Xactimate is updated in the future. Buy now at the gear and software page at adjustertv.com slash resources. Speaking of Xactimate, here's our big story. You've been using Xactimate version 28 for close to 10 years now, but since the arrival of version X1, most carriers and firms have upgraded to the new version. Because of this, support for Xactimate 28 ended July 31st. What this means is, is that the Xactware product team will no longer be fixing issues that come up with version 28. Also, Xactware will be sunsetting version 28 in December of 2021, which means it will no longer be available. The only version everybody will be using is X1. Here's Benjamin Telford from Xactware with more information about transitioning from 28 to X1. Okay, so support for Xactware 28 will end in July of this year. Um, that doesn't mean that come July, Xactware 28 is gonna stop working. It just means that the product teams are no longer going to be fixing issues that are come up in 28. 
And then when it gets to December of this year, exactly where Will Sunset, Sunset is actually 28. So what does this mean for you guys? It means that you guys really need to be looking at upgrading as soon as possible. Um, we don't want you guys to be stuck in the middle of cat season um, this spring or fall and, and not be in a place where you can upgrade. So look at doing that as soon as possible so you can avoid even dealing with the end of support or end of life for exactly 28. To watch the full video on transitioning to X1, head on over to adjustertv.com slash Xactimate right now. Coming up, we've got jobs. Are you new to the professional claims industry, confused about exactly how to get started as an IA, worried that the advice you're getting on social media might not be totally accurate? Then you need to check out IA Path. IA Path helps adjusters get started in their new career in 90 days with online mentorship programs and training. If you need help getting started or making a transition as an adjuster, head over to iapath.com slash adjustertv for a free video course showing you how to get working in the next 90 days. That's iapath.com slash adjustertv. Tonight on the Adjuster TV job board, you know that the IA firm and recruiting company, The Best Claim Solutions, is always looking for claims professionals. But what you might not know is the depth and breadth of opportunities available at The Best Claims. Here's Executive Vice President Ty Miller with more information on what opportunities they have for new adjusters and how The Best helps and develops new adjusters. I'm Ty Miller. I'm the Executive Director of Sales and Marketing Business Development at The Best Claim Solutions. I've been in the industry for 25 years. When I first came on, it was a process to be recruited, trained, and solely involved by the carrier themselves. What we're providing here through our resource departments is the capability of providing those activities that a carrier would have in the past to all of our people, meaning the licensing, the credentialing, the history that takes to get involved in the industry, the mentoring process of making someone a well-rounded adjuster. Well, new opportunities, especially in the insurance arena, involve capabilities of utilization of people that may not be quite as experienced and have the wherewithal to understand uh, complex claims. So what we're utilizing certain staff for is inspectionary type services where we provide a scope of service to either the insurance carrier themselves for them to complete an estimate or complete the claim, or we do have those capabilities in-house that we can provide that service to the insurance carriers and kind of outsource the entire thing. A secondary basis and a unique opportunity that we're just jumping into involves our services around the warranty division. A lot of times when a person goes out for an insurance claim, they're asked for a narrative, a scope, an estimate, anything that can complete the loss for an inside of adjuster. On a warranty guarantee type claim with a product's manufacturer, it could very well be the same thing. They have an issue with a product or a product has been installed incorrectly. From that standpoint, we go out and we write a narrative, we take photos and complete a scope and estimate. It's very similar to an insurance product. There's absolutely no licenses that are necessary for this type of service and it completes the service of basically gathering information to be able to complete what we call a warranty claim. In doing those type situations and getting people started in this industry, it really allows them to grow into the process of handling more complex losses or being able to be situated into a variable that they may not have even thought about yet. Uh, there will be opportunities for management inside of that processes and managing teams of people as we grow to the future. Learn more about the best recruiting process as well as how to get ready for your first hurricane deployment at adjustertv.com slash the best claims. Talk to a recruiter right now by visiting thebestclaims.com. Scroll to the bottom and click on join our roster and fill out the very short form. Recruiting services are 100% free for candidates, so you've got nothing to lose. Paysetter Claim Service is currently working on bringing on a new carrier. They are looking for commercial adjusters and would like the opportunity to add you to their roster. If you are interested and you have commercial experience, send an email to dailyopportunities at paysetterclaims.com right now. The Illinois-based TPA and IA firm Hausch & Company is looking for a TPA property desk adjuster, a TPA property claim supervisor, and a CAT director. The CAT director role requires a bachelor's degree and at least five years of experience successfully managing a CAT team 
and the property claims supervisor will work out of Housing Company's home office in Elgin, Illinois. You will manage property claims nationwide with the support of an outstanding administrative team. This role will be primarily responsible for managing a team of TPA property claim adjusters. Some light claims handling might be required in heavy volume situations. To apply for any of these roles at Housh, visit housheco.com slash join our team. You can also click on join our team at the top of the page at housheco.com. Up next, the weather with the towering inferno, Max Olson, and later, how to handle yourself around public adjusters. Hey, hey, Mr. Insured, how's it going? It's going great today, how are you doing? <laughs> right. This is actually Guy Grand from Veteran Adjusting School. So you wanna learn claims from the most experienced veteran adjusters, but you can't find anybody who will let you ride along with them? Then let me tell you about Adjuster TV Plus. Developed by Adjuster TV and its industry partners, including the high-end training center Veterans Adjusting School in Arizona, Adjuster TV Plus is a growing library of in-depth training videos created just for independent adjusters. Learn scoping and estimating from professional trainers and adjusters. Learn how to handle customer interactions with confidence. Learn the ins and outs of scoping and estimating exterior hail claims. And detailed videos about how to handle smoke, ice dam, water claims, and auto claims. Adjuster TV Plus also features the very best of three years of Adjuster TV's YouTube videos. Educational, entertaining, and inspiring. Come ride along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Here's Max with your independent adjuster weather. Thanks, Matt. Well, we started off the month with a bit of excitement. Elsa became the first hurricane in the Atlantic Basin of this season, but it was only a hurricane for a brief period of time. It weakened back to a tropical storm before making landfall in Florida on July 7th. Now, aside from Elsa, there really hasn't been much else to talk about when it comes to severe weather. Of course, there's the sporadic wind and hail events that happen all summer long, but none of them have been in any densely populated areas. Now, we did have a tornado outbreak in Iowa on July 14th, the strongest of which hit near Lake City, Iowa, causing up to EF3 damage, but most of the rest of the tornadoes stayed out in open country or only hit sparsely populated areas. Now, as I'm recording this, we're actually in the midst of a severe weather event that's going on in the Midwest. A potential derecho is forming in Minnesota and Wisconsin and will spread its way southeastward throughout the night. So we're definitely going to expect to see some wind reports in excess of 80 to 90 miles per hour over the next few hours. One of the biggest stories of July has actually been the excessive heat, especially in the western states. We've broken numerous records for high temperatures and we have a lot of wildfires ongoing. In fact, over 79 large wildfires are ongoing across 12 different states. One of the big Biggest being the bootleg fire, which is impacting places of Oregon. Officials say more than 400 structures and up to 350 vehicles have been damaged from this fire, which is now over 400,000 acres. Now, don't let this lull in the severe weather fool you. We are still very much in the beginning stages of the hurricane season, and all predictions still tend to indicate that we will have an above average season. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to have major landfalling hurricanes over densely populated areas, but it does mean that we should keep our eyes out, especially over the next few weeks. We should start to see some development as we get into mid-August. Thanks for tuning in to this Adjuster TV weather update. Back to you, Matt. Thanks, Max. After the break, should you be scared of public adjusters? Are you new to the industry and wondering how you can get started as an independent adjuster with little or no experience? I mean, how can you get any experience if you can't get any experience, right? It's a problem as old as time in any profession. While you may have heard of the IA firm and insurance recruiting specialists at the best IRS, the IRS stood for Insurance Recruiting Specialists. However, the best recently did a complete rebrand that better reflects their company goals, changing their name to the best claims solutions. Because there has been a considerable increase in task-driven solutions requested by the best claims clients, adjusters can now get their foot in the door and gain experience with the best claim solutions, the best inspect program. Not only that, but the best claims also offers continuous training to you, the adjuster, and their compliance department helps keep you current on your licenses so you'll never find yourself hitting the pause button on a deployment while you re-up your licenses. When you sign up for the best claims as roster, you'll be in contact with a dedicated recruiter who will learn more about your skills, experience, and areas of expertise. And once you're onboarded, anytime that there's an opening that fits your skill set, you'll get a call right away. At the best claims, their services are 100% completely free for candidates. 
Once you're on the roster, you'll have access to independent adjusting opportunities around the country so that you can select what's right for you. Get access to the totally free top five tips for preparing for a hurricane deployment video guide over to adjustertv.com slash the best claims. Watch the top five tips for preparing for a hurricane deployment for free right now by going to adjustertv.com slash the best claims. Over on Adjuster TV Radio, I had a really great conversation with a public adjuster named Dave Hall. And if you've been in this industry and been to any NACA convention in the last few years, you probably recognize Dave's name. You see, Dave has been an independent property adjuster for many years and recently decided to go over to the dark side and become a public adjuster. We talk about all kinds of things related to being a public adjuster and an independent adjuster, but I wanted to share this clip from our conversation about how to handle situations when a public adjuster is on the claim. I think a lot of adjusters are scared of working with public adjusters because they, you know, especially newer folks, they get on social media and they see all kinds of horror stories about people talking about PAs or the interactions they may have had with the PA or a contractor or even an attorney. Um, but is there like, is, are there kind of like some best practices for working with the PA? Um, is there a, is there a, like a, a better way to kind of mitigate that potential, or should should adjusters really even have anxiety about it? You know, to begin with. Well, in in my opinion, we're, we're we're both there as professionals, so I really don't see any reason to treat a public adjuster any any different than a contractor or anybody else. It's just another person in the process. Um, although we have a little bit of of authority to negotiate and to represent the insured, that doesn't give us unlimited authority to do things. It just gives us a couple more um, steps that we can take over, especially contractors. Um, as far as nervousness, uh, again, there's going to be outliers on both sides. There's public adjusters that that uh, want to start the first meeting with demanding this and demanding that and demanding that. And, you know, those are the first ones that you just step back and say, yeah, okay, we'll take care of it when my estimate's done. Um, <laughs> But they, they really are not the ones that you want to worry yourself. Um, most of it is just an interaction. You know, talk to the public adjuster as if they are the insured. Uh, you know, have them show you around the house and what damages that, that, that they are claiming. Uh, have them explain to you where did, where did the damage start? How did it process to here? You know, if you have questions on why are you asking for X, Y, or Z to be covered, by all means, ask them. Um, the good ones will know the answers to those things long before the insured uh, steps in because the good ones have taken the time to do a good scope and a good estimate, and they know the answers to those questions. The ones that may not be so good have to refer everything back to the insured, and that's where you have to wonder mm, how good of a person you're dealing with. But again, treat them professionally, and at the end of the day, we're both going to go home and try to take care of the insured. Right. Yeah. Um, and I've, I mean, I've dealt with some, some public adjusters and generally speaking, it's been on hurricanes, like on the coast, especially in the Northeast or in Florida. Um, if I'm doing hail, it's probably 99.97% of the claim hail claims I've ever run in city in any city in the Midwest. I've never even heard of anybody talking to a public adjuster. Um, I did have a public adjuster in Denver who was um, kind of pushing the boundaries a little bit, I think, of what was um, legit, but because they had a bunch of stuff on their website about um, if you, if, you know, you're obviously you're familiar with wood shake roofs and when they get older, they kind of wear thin to where they have that feathering oh, and there's uh -huh. a, a hole appears, oh, yeah. right? They had all yep. this documentation and all this stuff on their website about how that hole was actually a hail hit. And it could certainly be argued that the, the hail could hit that paper thin shingle and break it. And we would call that damage. But just having those holes there, like we call it feathering on those, sh those shakes, is not damage. But they had built their whole business around that in Denver, which had, at the time, it was several years ago, um, 
was a lot of wood shake roofs and a lot of people they were very very expensive as you know um, so these guys are kind of running around trying to drum up business about it but out of all the pa experiences i've ever had that was probably the only one and the guy was super cool about it too um, we never argued or anything i just said no and moved on um, but every other time it's you know a lot of times the pas will um if they're if they're good and they are uh diligent they will kind of show up with a really complete estimate and they'll go through that policy and um you know there'll be things in the policy that the, a lot of times like you said the ias don't know about because it's in their best interest to say okay well this under coverage d there's some extra things here that we can take care of for the insured as well and they're going to be included on the on the pa's estimate um and the, the ia may not have never have dug into this loss of use or whatever in coverage D or coverage E or whatever it is. Um, so they, you know, a lot of times I think if IAs, like you said, if they educate themselves starting out, um, if they, and if they're really versed in the policy, then those conversations, which could turn contentious where the IA is arguing with a PA over something that they don't really know what they're talking about. Um, if they did know and they're like, Oh yeah, okay, perfect. Thank you for pointing that out then you just move on down the road, right? And then you write your estimate as best you can as, a, as an IA and then kind of see where things shake out. You can watch the entire conversation right now at adjustertvplus.com. All right, that does it for us. Thank you so much for watching and have a great storm.